What is going on everybody? My name is Mario, aka Crafty Mind, and I recently bought 36 acres of land in Arizona. In today's episode, we're gonna be installing two inverters, EG4 6000 XPs, two of them. I think I'm only gonna connect one, but two of them are gonna be on the wall. And then we're gonna build a battery. I didn't buy a server rack battery. I think they're overpriced, so I'm gonna build my own. And then we're gonna install a heat pump over here just so I can get some heat and AC in here. I actually already installed one of the 6000 XPs, one of the inverters, just because I wanted to figure out how I'm gonna secure it to the wall. I didn't have the right screws and the screws that came uh, with the inverter, I think they suck. That's just my opinion, but I got it figured out. So let's install the second one. If I'm being honest, I kind of struggled with the install of the first one. It's not super heavy, but when you're trying to hold it up, put in the first screw, uh, it kind of sucks. See, it's got handles on the sides, but then I don't have a third hand to screw it in. So you kind of got to push it against the wall and put some screws in. Oh boy, I think I'm ready. Got one screw, the other one is on the drill. Let's give it a go. <laughs> See, I told you, this is so dangerous. Don't try this at home. Oh, good. Oh my goodness. At least we got one screw in. Man, that was freaking rough, but it's holding. I just wanted to say that I'm aware that they're uh, installed way too close to each other. This room is tiny and I'm kind of limited on space. Maybe in the future, I'm gonna take one of these and move it uh, over here. Or maybe I'm gonna get a third one, I'm not sure. But if this one overheats, I'm guessing this one's gonna overheat because this one is blowing hot air that way. I'm gonna put a fan on the ground and it's gonna be blowing up. So I think that's gonna be more than fine, but we'll see. Most of the time I'm not gonna be using a lot of energy at the moment, maybe a thousand watts, maybe a little bit more when I'm using, I don't know, a space heater. I don't think I'm gonna have to use a space heater cause I'm gonna have a heat pump, but then I have an electric stove. So that takes like 1500 watts. So I don't think these things are gonna get warm until I build a house, but then I'm gonna have an AC here set to like 65. So. I think we'll be fine. Now that we have the inverters installed, I'm gonna unbox my lithium cells. I have a total of 32 cells, I believe. Yeah, 32 cells. That's gonna make two 48 volt batteries, 16 cells in each. I'm gonna unbox one set of them, measure everything out and build a small enclosure for both. This is actually my other battery that I've been running things off of in the past few weeks. It, it's only it's only 3.6 kilowatts, but it's been serving me well. It's been running for a few years. It's so much cheaper to build your own battery than buy a pre-built one. And they're usually a lot better. I know you don't get the warranty, blah, blah, blah. It, it doesn't look pretty, but it freaking works. I actually have the Anchor 767. I think it's called the Solix 2000 right now. I'm not sure why they renamed it, but I paid $2,000 for it and it's supposed to put out 2400 watts, uh, but it never does. It cannot, it cannot power my table saw or my miter saw, it, it cuts out. But my 2000 watt inverter on, on my homemade uh, battery powers it, no problem. And the whole build was maybe $1,100, so half the price, plus this is a three and a half kilowatt battery in the anchor, it's a 2000 watt, so pick your poison. Uh, from now on, I'm just going to be building my own batteries. It's so much cheaper. It's a lot more involved, but it's a bit of a process to put everything together with the BMS, but it's really not that difficult. There's so much resources out there, especially on YouTube. If you want to build your own battery, there's plenty of videos on it on YouTube. This is how the cells are going to be oriented 16 on one level 
Then I'm gonna bring it up to here. There's gonna be a second level of 16 cells. I would like to put this battery box, container, enclosure, whatever, in this corner just so it's out of the way. The bus bar is gonna be over here on this wall so it's all closed. I don't have to have long runs for the cables and all that good stuff. I already took some measurements, so let's build the enclosure. Man, this battery is taking forever to build. It's actually day two of trying to build it. Uh, I don't think I'll even finish today. I still gotta set up the bus bar, the Victron BM, uh, the Victron shunt and all that good stuff over here. I don't think I'm gonna finish and I really wanna install that AC because during the day it gets to like 85 degrees in here. I'm sweating and it's only like 12, 12 in the afternoon. It's only gonna get warmer. So I think I'm gonna install the AC today and it's gonna run off of my little battery. I think a 2000 watt inverter is way more than enough for my three quarter ton of AC. I think it's gonna power it no problem. And that way I'll be able to work here at 70 degrees and not be stressed out. So right now I, I'm finishing up a couple of these outlets because I wanna have them hooked up as well. I'm gonna hook up the switch over here and I'm gonna switch gears and start installing the AC. Hopefully it works. Hi, Mario from the future. Um, those last few clips that you just watched were from two months ago. That day, I was trying to get at least the AC set up, the little battery. I just wanted the AC going. I just wanted to get some power in here. And for two months, that's how it's been. I I'm running off of my little three and a half kilowatt battery. It's been powering the AC, my fridge and the lights in here and the computer you see behind me. But I haven't had time to build my big 32 kilowatt battery, connect the big inverters. I just didn't have time. I started doing other projects that you're gonna see and I did not have time for this. Today, I'm gonna focus on that, but this video is gonna end here right now. I'm sorry for that. I just never put that video together. It's been two months. I still haven't put that video together. I have no idea where I ended up in that video, in this video that you're watching, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna make a part two that's gonna be out next week, even though I did some other projects in between. So it's gonna be a two part series. I'm gonna finish building the battery, connecting the inverters and all that good stuff. I apologize for that. It won't happen again, I promise. With that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. I apologize again. I hope you're not mad at me, but in the second part, we're gonna finish everything. I promise. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace.